Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Sega Superstars for the PlayStation 2. Now, this is a bit of a... It's a bit of an oddity um, of a game. Um, it's just been just sitting at the back of one of my drawers uh, for a while, but basically this was a uh, Sega iToy game that brought back... well, that brought together a whole lot of different uh, characters. As you can see there, we've got stuff like Billy Hatcher, we've got Choo Choo Rocket, we've got Space Channel, we've got Knights. Um, you know, we've got, of course, Sonic, we've got Samba de Amigo, we've got Virtua Fighter, we've got Super Monkey Ball. Uh, it's a very diverse uh, collection, and I, I think this actually may have been the first time that they got all those characters together. Uh, now it's pretty commonplace with, like, Sega All-Stars Racing and, um, you know, the, the Sega All-Stars Tennis game that they had and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think this actually might have been, if not the first, it was still one of the first that actually did that. So, uh, weirdly enough. But yeah, so basically it was just a very gimmicky iToy game. And for those that don't remember, the iToy is basically... Well, it's basically like a Kinect. Um, the idea is it's a camera you set up on top of your TV, and you can interact with the screen by doing different movements. Uh, and the camera picks that up and shows you on the TV. Uh, it was a very, very cool device, and it worked surprisingly well for the most part. Uh, as you can see, I've still got the actual original sticker on here, so uh, yeah, this was $70 at the time. Which uh, was actually... Yeah, probably not too bad, actually, um, for Australian pricing at that time. As you can see, it's uh, red G for general. But anyway, on the side, pretty standard, just Sega Superstars. And uh, then on the back, 12 Superstar games in one. So we can see uh, we've got Sonic on the back giving the thumbs up. Um, but we've got a few different games. Like You can see there we've got the Sonic one, and essentially it's the half-pipe from Sonic 2. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's honestly, it was kind of hard to play, I remember, because that was one I tried to play the most, and it was very, uh, kind of hard to do, and you had to actually collect the Chaos Emeralds by getting enough rings, so it was just like Sonic 2, and you could eventually, I believe, turn into Super Sonic. Um, but yeah, it was a bit fiddly, just like the actual Half-Pipe. There was a uh, Virtua Fighter uh, game, which looks really, really cool, in that you could actually fight one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't remember it working particularly well. I think it was alright. Uh, there was a Nights into Dreams one, which is pretty cool. Because considering how little uh, recognition that franchise gets, I honestly cannot remember anything about how well that worked. And uh, Super Monkey Ball, which again, I, I really can't remember too much about. But uh, yeah, all the different Sega franchises, House of the Dead, Crazy Taxi, Space Channel 5, uh, Choo Choo Rocket, Knights, Virtual Fighter, Billy Hatcher, Poyo Pop Fever, Samba de Amigo, Monkey Ball, and Virtual Striker. So quite an assortment of different uh, Sega legacy characters. Inside we've just got the disc. Uh, as you can see it's, you know, pretty stock standard. We've got a surprisingly thick manual for what it is. Uh, all in black and white of course, but we do have artwork from all the different franchises. Showing you how to play all the different games, so the Somebody Amigo game. The, uh, of course the Sonic the Hedgehog game with the half pipe, like I was uh, saying before. And uh, yeah, so you couldn't see it on the back, but those spiky ball thingies that electrocute you are in this. Virtual Fighter. Super Monkey Ball. Crazy Taxi. I honestly can't remember how that was played. Oh yeah, you had to yell at the taxi, I think. <laughs> it was really weird. It was like you were actually a passenger from Crazy Taxi, uh, in part. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> House of the Dead. So you had to uh, defeat all the zombies. Um, Space Channel 5. Actually, just, just, just to point out, that is probably the happiest person I've ever seen during a zombie invasion. <laughs> so, yeah, Space Channel 5, uh, doing uh, the dancing from Ulala. Uh, Choo Choo Rocket. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, which I actually do remember that one, and I remember it being incredibly annoying. Uh, that, that, this has been my only experience with the Billy Hatcher series, actually. Virtuous Striker. So basically, I think it was just trying to keep a football suspended in the air. Uh, Poyo Pop Fever. 
I have n no idea. <laughs> I think you had to you had to kind of funnel the uh, poyos into the right spot and then uh, you know, but make sure the bombs didn't get with them. Uh, knights into dreams, so you actually had to fly knights through the rings. Um, so I yeah, you had to use different hand motions like there, so ascend and descend, turn right and turn left. Uh, interesting little idea. <laughs> Advice from Professor Chow. Uh, and it even had a Chow garden. I had actually completely forgotten about that. So yeah, they saw how popular that was in uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and I guess they decided to add it here. Anyway. But beyond that, we also get a little Sega PS2 pamphlet thing. So, obviously, Sega Superstars is advertised in the booklet that comes with Sega Superstars. Uh, Headhunter Redemption, I have no idea. Uh, Sonic Heroes, yep. Yep. Um, Worms Forts Under Siege, apparently that was Sega. Uh, Blood Will Tell, uh, to be honest I don't remember most of these. Um, uh, Guilty Gear... Isuka, Spy Action, and a back catalogue uh, with things like Puyo Puyo Fever, or Puyo Pop Fever, and uh, Samurai Jack the Shadow of a Coup. I had no idea that was actually Sega. But, um, yeah, it's not a whole lot of titles there that I actually remember, but anyway. So that is your look at Sega Superstars. As I say, it's a bit of a bit of an odd little game. Um, after looking at it, I kind of want to give it a go again, but I, 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 from memory, I think it was pretty disappointing. Um, I do remember you got, you actually got Sonic the Hedgehog gloves, uh, which were very, they were pretty small. Um, but um, I have no idea what ever happened to mine. Um, at least not, not, not now since I moved anyway. <laughs> so uh, no, no idea what happened to them, but uh, they were a little bonus. So, I, I guess you were supposed to play iToy while wearing your Sonic the Hedgehog gloves, and I, I guess if you got the Sonic the Hedgehog hat from later games, you could do that too. But, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.